Welcome to the Ben Wood Johnson Podcast. You can visit Dr. Johnson's blog at benwoodpost.com. Dr. Johnson's works can be found at drbenwoodjohnson.com. You can also support Dr. Johnson on Patreon, the link to which is in the description. Hey, welcome to the Benwood Johnson Podcast. Uh, today is the 6th of August, 2018. This is podcast number 12. Um, today we're going to be introducing Jean-Paul Sartre. Uh, Jean-Paul Sartre is a giant in uh, contemporary philosophy. He is a household name in, uh, in, in human literature. Um, some of the ideals that he pioneered is the notion of freedom, is the notion of existentialism, in which he talks about the nature of human freedom. And in these series, we're going to be talking about the concept uh, in terms of what Jean-Paul Sartre had to say in terms of how we, at least how I understand the implications of, of that philosophy. So in this series, we're going to be talking about uh, how there's no freedom in society. There's no freedom in nature. There's no freedom. The concept itself, it's an illusion. It's, it's, it, it, it feels good to know we are free. Uh, at least it feels good to believe that we are free. But in reality, there is no such a thing. If, if, if we were free, we would be able to sprout wings and fly. Okay, uh, We would be able to stop being. We would be able to stop eating, to stop being a human being whenever we wanted to do so. And because we do not have the capacity to stop ourselves from being, uh, thereby we are not free. And if we were to look at it from a societal standpoint where you see every aspect of society is designed to control you because that's the whole concept of society, uh, the, the notion itself implies control because uh, society is there to prevent chaos, to prevent disorder. Society is there to put control, to put order, to, to make sure there's, there's a certain serenity in the way things are, are in the environment. So as a result, you could not speak about freedom if we ought to be under control, we ought to be restrained, if we ought to be constrained from being the way our nature perhaps requires us to be. So within that context, when we're talking about freedom in society or freedom in nature, there's no such a thing. So in these series, we're going to be talking about how Jean-Paul Sartre himself saw the concept, how he understood the concept, and how he articulated it. And we're, we're going to rebuke many of those ideas. So uh, this is going to be a long series, but for now, we are introducing the concept. We are introducing Jean-Paul Sartre. So without further ado, let us delve right into it. I have talked extensively about Jean-Paul Sartre. Now, in one of my books, I mentioned that I am a devotee. I am a, a huge fan of Jean-Paul Sartre. Now, this is not to say that I agree with everything he had to say. In fact, my philosophy is somewhat the opposite um, in relation to what Jean-Paul Sartre was saying. But Jean-Paul Sartre was a very despised thinker. Now, we're not going to go into the details as to why he was despised, but the fact remains that he was very despised. And as I point out in one of my books, you know, Sartre and Ethics, it's this idea that Sartre was a punching bag, okay? And everybody wanted a piece of him. Um, everybody wanted to criticize him. In fact, if, if you did a quick research in the literature, you would mostly come across pieces that refute Jean-Paul Sartre rather than finding pieces that allowed him, pieces that acknowledges his prowess, his capacity, his intellectual, his, his, his contribution to human literature. 
as I said, I'm, I'm not going to go into detail as to why this is the case. But salt had a very uh, peculiar way of looking at the world. Um, one of the things that Jean-Paul Sartre was famous for is this idea of freedom, in which he talks about uh, the individual is always free. Okay? And he says that the individual always has the capacity to um, emancipate himself from whatever. Okay? And Sartre even said that when the individual refuses to accept that he is free, that he is in control, this individual is in bad faith, or what Sartre called mauvaise foi. Okay? Now, this idea of mauvaise foi sort of, uh, sort of jive with the notion that the individual is free. Because since you have freedom, okay, you have the capacity to emancipate yourself. When you don't do that, it is a choice that you make. In other words, you are the one who decide uh, to remain in bondage, whether it's a physical bondage or is a spiritual bondage or maybe a mental bondage, okay? I disagree. I completely disagree with that view. And that's why, even though I have attempted in several and uh, numerous times to defend Jean-Paul Sartre, uh, I do not share his views. And, and like I said, uh, my philosophy is somewhat the opposite. In fact, I believe there's no such thing as freedom in society. Not, not even in nature. There's no such a thing. When, when you speak of freedom in either society or nature, it's, it's a fallacy. Okay? Because if, if we were to define the word itself, the word free, which means being um, emancipated from, okay, it's a word that does not exist. It's a concept that does not exist neither in nature nor in society. Um, in the book Cogito Ergo Philosophus, Je pense donc je philosophe, I sort of talk about this in terms of how uh, the human being or the being is, 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 is sort of anchored in nature. And there's absolutely no way for the being to be free from it his beingness, or in this instance, its beingness, okay? So at the end of the day, the being is not free to be. Rather, the being is free to acknowledge its beingness. The being could refuse to acknowledge its beingness. Not, nevertheless, that doesn't mean that the being is not being. In other words, you could deny that you are a man, but that doesn't mean that you're not a man. Okay? And it doesn't necessarily fall into the realm of bad faith because it is not your choice to make. Um, so I will talk about that in, in, in more detail in, in other recordings, but let's keep it at that for now. Um, Sartre was despised, and I would say for not the good reasons, uh, although I have tried to defend him, but I do not share his views on certain things, especially on his notion of, of human freedom, of existentialism. I believe the notion of existentialism is, is, is overrated. Um, it, nobody is, is free. There's no such a thing in society. And that's why at the end of the day, everybody is under control. Whether nature controls you or society controls you or both. So at the end of the day, you are restricted. You are limited. And uh, to that extent, the notion of freedom is somewhat... Uh, it's a palace.